I am Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Down a Country. We're at 4004 Forest Island Drive, Orlando, Florida, 32826, here in the sanctuary. And the purpose of this video is to help you see what you can't see if you look at the best pictures that are posted online. That's why we're going to walk away from the property for a minute. Property backs up to a conservation area. We'll see it in the back in a minute. But it's best to see it here because that's what it looks like behind your house. These houses were built in the late 90s. This particular house is built in 1998. We're out in East Orlando, past UCF. Orlando's the second largest university in the nation. It'll be a good single family home. It'll also be a good rental. It's a nice view. The sun going down of the neighborhood. This particular home was owned by a rental company. It was rented. This price range, this area would make it good for that. And of course, for single family as well. There is an HOA. It's not going to kill you at $384 a year. I don't know how old the roof is on this. It looks like it's a little older. The house built in 1998. It's Probably not original, but it's probably not newer. So it's five o'clock. We got the five o'clock. We're going to come in and go in. Venture. We're going to go inside. Four bedrooms, two baths, 2020 heated square foot. Taxes right now with no homestead, $4,831 a year. Two floors, of course. Downstairs master. Welcome home. So we'll go up there. Got this laminate flooring all throughout, which is in nice shape. I don't know the owners here. Story I'm going to make up is someone lived here and really loved this property originally. Things like that that they added, things like that. And then someone bought it to rent out, left the original fixtures. And since then, it's been more like a rental. We've got the Formica tops. Those are things that you see common in rental. Nice appliances, though, and everything. To me, the only reason why you can tell it used to be a rental is we've got white trim, brown cabinets, brown flooring, and gray walls. Gray and brown don't really match. All right, we're back outside now. A nice fence yard. There's deer back here. All kinds of animals. If you don't need the fence yard, you can take the back fence down and have this be your wide open view. Property is priced right. Probably going to sell quick. You can just tell in the slightly different color paint in the yard and stuff. That's all a sign that it was probably rented. So someone's going to come in, change out the fixture. Love the house again. All right, we've got the downstairs master. It's definitely not small, it's not huge. 
kind of a normal size. Got nice size closets here. We've got a whole closet upstairs. It's not even attached to a bedroom. You can see what I meant when I said somebody spent some time, some money. Look at that flooring. Someone really loved this house at one point. Over 2,000 square feet. Got all these nooks and crannies. You can see we are definitely, that's the closet under the stairs, is in where Harry Potter lived. We are definitely not short on closet and storage space here. Okay, we're in the garage. Someone wanted some permanent shelving. And that's what that is, to give you lots of extra room. All right, back to the main living area here. Now we go up the stairs. It's got a really interesting roof line. You don't see many houses here in Central Florida. This is the loft type open area. Lots of little cutouts. It's the biggest closet I've ever seen. Not attached to a bedroom. This will be the second bedroom we saw. You can see you've got that Interesting second story feel. Showed a buyer, said they reminded him of the Netherlands. I thought it reminded me of uh, Denmark, so that same area. And then two more bedrooms here. Again, not super small, not super large. The little cutouts do make the room feel a little smaller than it is, but practically doesn't make much of a difference. I'm six foot tall and I can walk, you know, almost up to the, almost up to the very edge of that. So it's not like you're going to be hitting your head. So interesting architectural features. Bedroom number four. Of course, we've got all carpet upstairs, some thick padding, except the carpet's a little on the older side. But it's in good shape. This is a nice view you won't see. See the pictures, what it looks like in the back. Kind of got to look through the windows of deep cleaning to get the idea. If you're even thinking about buying this home, home here in the sanctuary, or something out here in East Orlando, I want you to call me, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison, with Remax Town and Country. I've sold thousands and thousands of homes over the last 36 years. Chances are I can get you a really good deal or find you just the home that you were looking for.